Welcome to the Winfield United Game Show Network. We have an exciting lineup for you today. We are going to go out and play the Rate is Right game. We have double back-to-back -back episodes of that particular game show. Then following that, we're going to go and play Crop Jeopardy, where we're really going to dig into soybean traits and the herbicides that you can spray over the top of them. And then to finalize our, our lineup tonight, Tyler, we've got something really, really exciting. You know, who wants to be a 100 bushel air? Where we deep dive into the adjuvants needed for extend systems as well as the enlist systems that we need going forward. So will our contestants make it out with the uh, prize or will they fall short? Let's find out. Welcome to the Rate is Right. Today, what we're going to try to figure out is what is the right rate of the various chemicals we're putting out here. So we are gonna go ahead and choose a contestant to come down here and compete. All right, who are we gonna choose? Let's see, who's, who's shouting the most? Me! Me! Anybody else? No? Oh. Yes, you, sir. Come on down. Woo! Let's go. All right. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. All know, right. I've, been, I've been here a lot, Tyler. I'm really excited to be here. Let's go. Oh, good, good. So uh, tell me, first of all, what's your name? I'm Andy, Andy Dickus. Andy. I'm, I'm just a real big fan. You know, I've been watching this show for years. I just finally I got my shot. You know, I'm just excited. Awesome. So where are you from? Oh, I don't even know. I, I, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Okay, and what do you do? Well, you know, I'm I'm kind of a kind of a person who just tells people what to do, and, and they listen to me, and I just make money that way. You oh, know? okay. So uh, you're a big fan of the show. You Huge know how fan. the you know how the uh, game works, yep, right? Yep. You got to guess the right rate without going over. Oh, I'm gonna nail this. Okay, so we have two different plots here. We have a plot that was sprayed with section three. Both of these plots were sprayed with section three at three fluid ounces, so should kill corn, right? When you start looking at it, the only two differences between these is the rate of superb, which is an oil that goes into the tank. Okay, so we're gonna look and see what is the right rate of superb without going over. All right, so what's your choice, Sandy? How much? I'm gonna, oh geez, Tyler, I don't know. I'm gonna say a gallon. Remember, a gallon. Remember, you can't go over. You gonna stick with that? Yeah. Look at this corn. I'm gonna say a gallon. Oh, great man. answer. Great answer. You're, you're close, but unfortunately, it was a half a gallon per acre. But I appreciate you oh. playing. And you guys can really see the difference here between these. I mean, you, you take a look over here. This had no oil in it whatsoever. If my cameraman can ever point back here, no oil whatsoever. Whereas right here. We had a half gallon per hundred of superb HC in here. You can see how it really did a great job of killing corn. Man, that must be some good stuff because I really thought that at least a gallon was going to be it. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, well, thanks for playing, Andy. We'll go back and, and look at our next contestant here. Oh, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> next, on the Rate is Right, we're going to be looking at some antagonism here. So what we have is we have two different plots. These four rows right in here are treated with Extendamax oil and section three. And then over here, these four rows were treated with that exact same mixture, but the section three was treated at a higher rate. Okay, and that's what we're gonna play, figure out what the rate of section three was on this. So for the rate is right, we're gonna select our next contestant. Who do we got in the audience? Pick me, right here, pick me. Anybody else? Pick me. All right, here we got our next Boy, contestant. I've never been so excited, Tyler. I just watched this previous deal, and I think I got Andy beat big time here. All right, and what's your name again? I'm Heath, Heath, Heath. Weber. Okay, what do you do? I'm an intern. I'm here working. Uh, I've been gonna teach these guys that are supposed to know something more. Okay, so you're an intern for the show. I am. Okay, I didn't know we let you guys compete, yep. but this should be interesting. All right, so, Again, what we're trying to figure out, what was the rate of section three sprayed on this plot? Remember, you can't go over. Can't go over. Can't go over. Really looking at this closely. Tyler, I'm gonna go with four ounces, final answer. You sure? Confident. Hey, you got it. Four and a half fluid ounces. You win. And what do you win? Hey, you win Andy's truck. Woo! <laughs> I use a new truck. All right. Awesome. Uh, Andy, I, I'm afraid he didn't read the fine print. You're going to have to find a different ride home here. I'll take the keys, Andy. Yes! All right, so what we're showing in this plot here, guys, remember there's an antagonistic effect between mixing Extend-A-Max with 
these section three or fusillade, any of the corn killing herbicides. So we need to make sure we're bumping up the rate. Now this corn was a little bit on the big side. Okay, and you can see that even with this higher rate, we didn't get very good control, but this may be realistic in your system. Okay, if you have larger corn, especially in the derecho area where you have very dense corn or tall corn, you probably want to make a separate application instead of trying to mix this with Extendamax, Ingenia, Tavium, Enlist, um, Enlist Duo, or Enlist One. Okay, because there is an antagonistic effect. And, and honestly, this year, with the drier conditions, we have a nice thick cuticle waxy layer on this corn plant. That is gonna make it even tougher to control that volunteer corn. That's why in that other plot we saw how much effect the oil has. Do not back down on your oil rates. So with that, that concludes our game of the price, or the uh, rate is right. Welcome to Crop Jeopardy. On today's version, we're gonna understand how herbicides affect different herbicide traits in soybeans. So, as you're seeing behind us, what we have set up is we have two rows each of every single soybean traded, uh, every, different soybean traits, as well as on the crossway, so right behind you, we have different herbicides sprayed across those rows. And so, joining us today, we have three contestants. We have a reigning champion, Heath, Heath, how are you doing today? Very good. Drove the new truck here. Having a blast. Yeah, I've heard you had a really good week on, on the Game Show Network, yeah. so congratulations Thank to that. You. We've got a brand new contestant, Tyler Steinkamp. Tyler, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm Tyler Steinkamp. I'm coming in. Uh, I'm a farmer, kind of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm picking up what you're dropping there. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. That sounds exciting. And we have Chris. Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, just came here, figured I'd beat Tyler. You know, we're, we're neighbor farmers, and I just, I like to win at everything I can against Tyler. Yeah, you, you probably happens a lot with you, it doesn't does. it? Yep. All right. Well, today's crop, crop Jeopardy is brought to you by Winfield United. I hear there's some stand-up guys, so make sure to reach out to your local Winfield United dealer. Thank you. All right, guys, on the first round. So, here's the video showing what we have going. And today's version is daily doubles only, and so they can wager what they want and they have to write down their answers. So here's the first video. Two rows of conventional soybeans. Two rows of Liberty Link soybeans. Two rows of Extend Flex soybeans. Two rows of Extend soybeans. Two rows of LLGT27 soybeans. Two rows of Enlist E3 soybeans. And two rows of Roundup Ready 2 soybeans. All right, looks like all the contestants have their answers. Uh, we'll go with the reigning champ. Heath, can you show us what you shared? Extend a max, wagering launch. Nice, that is the correct answer. Tyler, what did you wager? I wagered five dollars, and I'm going to say Sterling Blue. Well, Tyler, that is incorrect. Um, Sterling Blue is not labeled for soybeans, so um, no. And I hope that you did not spray that on the rest of your farm because that's a bad day for you, sir. Chris, went with Extendamax. We're feeling confident at a hundred bucks. Oh, nice. That is also the correct answer. So early leaderboard is Chris with a hundred, Heath with a uh, free lunch, and Tyler with negative five dollars. Um, with the answer of sterling blue, please don't do that. Welcome back to Crop Jeopardy. Now we're on to round two. So, as we take a look at this video to see what got sprayed and the two rows, keep in mind as we go across there. So here's your video, con contestants. Two rows of conventional soybeans. Two rows of Liberty Link soybeans. Two rows of Extend Flex soybeans. Two rows of Extend soybeans. Two rows of LLGT27 soybeans. Two rows of Enlist E3 soybeans. And two rows of Roundup Ready 2 soybeans. Alrighty, I think you guys have the answers. Pretty confident in it? Feeling good. Feeling good? Gonna get another free lunch, are we? Open. There, weeks, there we go. Alright, contestants, write your answers.
All right, so on this one, as we saw in the video, we had all this stuff with traits. The conventional and the Liberty Link did die, but all the other stuff was still alive. So, contestants, what is your answer? I went with Cobra wagering lunch once again. Well, that is incorrect. So now we take back that free lunch that you have and you are at zero, but that's okay. Still a lot of game left. Tyler. I was really confident last time extended max was right so this time it's got to be right yeah that's that's typical when it goes down and, and you wager at a thousand so yeah. unfortunately you are incorrect uh so you go down to negative thousand five dollars and chris rigged. i went with roundup at 76 dollars roundup at 76 dollars so we have it still a leader in the clubhouse with 176 dollars perfect all right welcome back to crop jeopardy moving on to round three so as we take a look at the video, here's your video contestants. Make sure to pay attention, especially you, Tyler. Two rows of conventional soybeans, two rows of Liberty Link soybeans, two rows of Extend Flex soybeans, two rows of Straight Extend soybeans, Two rows of LLGT27 soybeans. Two rows of Enlist E3 soybeans. Two rows of Roundup Ready 2 soybeans. So that's the video. If you notice that all Liberty Link, Extend Flex, Enlist 1, and LLGT27 were alive. So, contestants, write your answers down. Contestants ready? All right, we'll switch it up. Chris, since you're a leader in the clubhouse, we'll go with you first. Well, really not sure on this one, but we're gonna go Roundup. You know, if, if for the last 10 years, you're probably right to think that Roundup would be sprayed on everything, but unfortunately you are incorrect. And I see you wagered one more dollar than what you have. So now uh, that brings you down to negative $1. So Tyler, please, for your sake, I hope, that you're doing this because I'm not sure, you must have a better banker than I am. I know your accountant called you earlier. Um, I don't know where you're getting this money from if we're being honest, so. Well, they told me I had $500 left and uh, after that, don't call the bank again. So I went with 24D. 24D, okay. Well, the correct answer was Liberty, so you are incorrect. And so now you're down $1,505, so that's unfortunate. Heath, please save us. I'm feeling pretty confident here. I went with Liberty. <laughs> That is and correct. Good job. It was 180 bucks. Just right above what Chris had. I like it. I like the confidence. So we have a new leader in the clubhouse with Heath. Uh, both of the, the other two are struggling a little bit. It's uh, Heath, anybody's game at this point, but Heath's showing why he's the reigning champion. All right, moving on to our next, our next trait and our next herbicide that was sprayed across there. So hopefully you guys are paying attention to this one. You kind of got the flow of the game. So here we go. Here's your video. Make sure you're watching carefully. Tyler, come on, focus. Two rows of conventional soybeans. Two rows of Liberty Link soybeans. Two rows of Extend Flex soybeans. Two rows of Extend soybeans. Two rows of LLGT27 soybeans. Two rows of Enlist E3 soybeans. Two rows of Roundup Ready 2 soybeans. All right, now you guys have seen, the only thing that is alive is our LGT27 soybeans. Everything else is dead. So, take that into, take that into your, your, your answers here and, and write down your answers, contestants. All right, Heath, since you're the leader in the clubhouse, you can go first. Feeling pretty confident again. Balance flex. That is correct. So. 20 bucks. And that, that brings you up to 200 total. Now, Tyler, what did you, what was your answer? 
Well, they're GTL 27 soybeans, so I went with the GTLL 27 herbicide. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with our judges here and see if we can accept that answer. We cannot, so no, sorry, uh, that is not the correct answer. You wagered one dollar, so now you are down fifteen hundred dollars and six dollars. Six dollars. So, yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're broke, and your banker has cut you off. So I don't know where that one dollar is gonna come from, but good luck, Chris. What did you wager? I also went with. Uh balance flex at 201. Oh, congratulations. By a dollar, we have a new leader in the clubhouse. So balance flex is the correct answer. And we will move on to the next or next treatment. All right, on to the next treatment. Here's the video contestants. Now, Tyler, really try to pay close attention to this one. Two rows of conventional soybeans. Two rows of, con of Liberty Link soybeans. Two rows of Extend Flex soybeans. Two rows of Extend soybeans. Two rows of LLGT27 soybeans. Two rows of Enlist E3 soybeans. Two rows of Roundup Ready 2 soybeans. All right, if we notice on that video, all, all the soybeans, all the soybeans were alive. The different traits were alive going across there, so contestants. Write down your answers. <clears throat> All right, since we're tied, we're gonna go with the reigning champion. Heath, what is your answer? Feeling pretty good on this one. Went with Roundup, and I bet my 200. That is incorrect. It's actually Avalanche Ultra or a PPO. So. That is incorrect. You go back down to zero dollars. Tyler. <laughs> well, I found a backer. <laughs> he was uh, actually kind of sitting in the back room there and he told me he'd lend me the money. Unfortunately, uh, I, was, I was close. I was in the right region, but I went with Arctic. For $3,000. Yeah. So that is, that is not correct. Uh, you're right. Uh, it, it would not kill any of the soybeans, but we're trying to kill weeds, not insect. So, um, you are at 4506 in the hole, so hopefully that guy di didn't bring a bat and your knees are going to be okay tomorrow. Uh, Chris? Uh, feel very confident in my answer, not the spelling, going Avalanche uh, for 800. Oh, congratulations, that is correct. Avalanche, a PPO, all, it killed the weeds but did not kill any of the soybeans, so you are up at $1,000 now, so we have a new leader in the clubhouse. All right. Uh, No. <laughs> Moving on to our final treatment. Now, Tyler, I really want you to buckle down on this one, all right? So, we have a leader in the clubhouse with Chris at $1,000. You know, he still has a chance at zero. And Tyler, I just hope that you're alive tomorrow. <laughs> so, all right, here's the video for our last one. Really pay attention. Two rows of conventional soybeans. Two ro rows of Liberty Link so soybeans. Two rows of Extend Flex soybeans. Two rows of Extend soybeans. Two rows of LLGT27 soybeans. Two rows of Enlist E3 soybeans. And two rows of Roundup Ready 2 soybeans. So, as you guys noticed, the only thing alive was the Enlist E3 soybeans. So, write your answers down and what you're willing to wager. Everybody good? All right, we're going to start with Chris. He's going to go Reservoir for a thousand. Uh, no. Again, kind of like what Tyler did earlier with Sterling Blue, that cannot be, be sprayed on there. The correct answer is Enlist 1. So, you're back to zero. So, Tyler. I got it! Enlist! I bet $4,505. So, you're still a dollar in the hole. So... <laughs> yeah, I figured that guy was going to come after him. Alright, Heath, be our saving grace. I went with it, got it right, and I bet launch. Perfect. Enlist and we got lunch. So, 
that is that is that is our trait demo that we have going here with soybeans we have our new winner heath he's having a heck of a week on our game show thank you and pay attention or stay tuned for the next game show welcome back to the rate is right today what we're going to look at is some soybeans that have been damaged and try to figure out how much of a specific herbicide was sprayed on this so what we're looking at here we have two different soybeans here one was sprayed with nothing here this was an untreated check you can see we have soybean leaves unfurling nicely and the soybean continues to grow on the left here this was sprayed with extended max and you can see that we don't have those leaves unfurling and the ones that are are coming out as crinkled blobs here and so you can see the difference that that makes so with that what we're going to try to do we're going to pull in a contestant here and figure out what was the rate that was sprayed on this particular plot? So with that, who uh, who from our audience wants to come ooh, up and ooh, guess? Ooh, 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 pick me. Pick me. Who? Anybody? Over here. Yes, who? you over there in the black shirt. Come on in. Thanks, Tyler. And what's your name, sir? Uh, Chris. Okay, and what do you do? Uh, I just kind of wander these fields every once in a while. Okay, so you wander these fields. So yeah. you should have a pretty good idea of what's sprayed out here. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, so we'll see if you can guess the right rate. Remember, you gotta guess the right rate of Extendamax over top of these soybeans without going over. So, what is the right rate? Five gallons. Five gallons yeah. per acre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five gallons of Extendamax per acre. Mm. I'm afraid you're incorrect, I'm sorry. This is actually a 1 100th rate of the 22 fluid ounce rate that you're spraying out here. And so when you look at these soybeans, I mean, they're really damaged. And this goes to the point of showing how important it is to clean out that spray tank properly, right, Chris? I can see that right here. Yeah. Now, when we look at what is the proper way to clean out a spray tank, you wanna make sure that you're getting everything out of those lines because actually the number one cause of this type of thing is not tank contamination it's actually boom and line contamination okay so you want to make sure you're pulling all the filters out making sure to clean those separately make sure that you're looking at all the dead ends of the sprayer so anywhere on that sprayer that herbicide doesn't regularly go through you want to make sure you're pulling those off cleaning those out separately. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go through a triple rinse process. The first time we go through with water, then we put in tank cleaner, and then we finish with that final rinse of water. Because again, this is a one one hundredth of a rate. Even our one one thousandth rate over here is showing damage. And that's roughly about a thimble full of dicamba in a 1200 gallon sprayer. So it doesn't take a whole lot, does it, Chris? No, not at all. Not even five gallons. <laughs> not five gallons. So with that, thanks for playing. The rate is right. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a 100 Bushel Air. On with me today, I have Andy Dickus. Andy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thanks, Tyler. You know, I'm really glad to be here. I'm a, I'm a fisherman from Oregon, you know, and I, I, I really, really like that, that the soybean meal for for fish you know when we're feeding them and when we're not freshly caught stuff so i just figured you know i, I did a little research on it and i figured i could be a hundred hundred bushel air so all right so you've been studying up on your agronomy yep all right well this should be interesting to see how he does and basically how this game works is we're going to go through and ask a series of questions to you you're going to get four possible answers you're gonna to have to go through and pick the best answer for the situation now a lot of uh, we are focusing on soybeans a lot of what we usually have to focus on with soybeans is around weed control because sometimes uh, weeds can be very hard to control in soybeans so starting in right on in we're going to ask and progressively these questions will be getting harder remember you do have three lifelines so if you want to use your three lifelines, you certainly can. All right, so going forward, here is our first question. For one bushel, what crop is this? Is it A, corn, B, soybeans, C, marijuana, or D, blueberries? 
Well, you know, being from Oregon, I, I know my marijuana. That's definitely not marijuana. The other ones, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident in this. I think it, it's B soybean style. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. That's correct. Let's go! All right, so it's B soybeans. Pretty easy to start out with, right, Andy? That's good. That's good. All right, so let's, uh, let's move up a little bit. We're going to go to 10 bushels now. What droplet size should you use to spray Liberty herbicide? We have A, 150 microns, B, 300 microns, C, 600 microns, or D, 1,000 microns. You know, I think I remember my professor talking about microns in, in college. Um, it wasn't about spray droplets, though. So, hmm. did you go to college for? No, no, no. It was, it was, it was something completely different. Ah. That I'm really not that. Did you go to college to become a fisherman, or is that a fallback career? No, that was a fallback career. Is sociology or something? Yeah, it was sociology. Ah, I see. I, uh, I think it's B three hundred microns. Is that your final answer? My final answer. B is correct. Exactly. We need about three hundred microns. And so when you look at those other ones, 150 microns is too small, right? Because uh, too much, like in a wind like this, blow off target. And in addition, if you get too small droplets, oftentimes they evaporate before they hit the target, right? Uh, 600 microns, that's a pretty large droplet size. We're not gonna get the coverage that we need with Liberty. And finally, the 1,000 microns, I mean, that's basically a raindrop. At that point, you're not getting any coverage whatsoever. All right, moving on. We're getting progressively harder as we go here. Four, 25 bushels. In this picture, this set of pictures, look up on the screen here, which plot provided the best control? A, B, C, or D? Well, when you say control, I assume that it's not going to be completely dead, but it's not going to be completely alive either. So. Correctly. So what, what we did here is we actually sprayed a sublethal dose of Enlist and Liberty together. Okay. So what we're looking at is a sublethal dose, and the only difference between these are the adjuvants. So which plot provided the best control? Well, A is definitely the greenest, so it's not that one. I'm going to go with C because it seems to be the most brown. Yep. So C, we had the best control here. This was actually at 10 fluid ounces of Class Act NG. You can see we got very decent control, even with this 10 fluid ounce rate. Now, a lot of you guys uh, often give me questions on which, why do we use 10 fluid ounces? Well, we're trying to show some differences here in some less than ideal uh, situations. In this case, that 10 fluid ounce rate is less than ideal. And so we're trying to show some differences here in the mix. So you're, you're definitely correct with C. That is the correct answer. You are now at 25 bushels. So going to 50. All righty. We're getting up there. You feeling the pressure? I'm starting to feel it. All right. Just a, just a modest fisherman from Oregon, you know? Yep, exactly. All right, so 450 bushels. This picture on the screen here, will the crop response from spraying this application, Liberty and Liss. You can see it's a little burnt, right? Uh -huh. So Liberty and Liss were sprayed together at full rate with adjuvants in the tank with some oils. Will it cause a yield loss? You know, I really don't want that. I want to be a hundred bushel air. So right? I don't want to, I don't want a yield loss. So I'm going to go B, no. No, no. it will not. No, it will not cause. Is that your final answer? That is my final answer. So what made you choose that answer? Well, I think they're they're labeled on there, correct? Correct, yep. And and I just I just don't think that would that we would have something that's labeled this sprayed on there that would hurt the hurt the yield, so that's why I did it. Yep, correct. B is correct. So you got the correct answer there. This will not lead to a yield response. Now understand that even with 
spraying things on labels, sometimes we can get a little bit of crop response. They're not nearly as bad as when we used to spray Ultra Blazer, things like uh, Cobra, things like Flexstar, that kind of thing. But you do get a little bit of crop response when you're spraying all of these things together on soybeans. The plant, obviously, you can see here, is starting to grow out of it, right? And we're starting to see that uh, damage recede. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're at 50 bushels now. We're going for that last leg there, going to 100 bushels at this point. And I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you. Right. We're going to use one of your lifelines because you haven't used any. So I'm just going to allow you to use your lifeline here. Between these two plots here, which plot provided better control? Now this one's tricky because we've been talking about Liberty. We've been talking about Enlist. Now we're looking at Extendamax. So I'm changing it up on you. Which one, pay close attention, which one's providing better control? You know, I'm still going to go with my logic that I, that I used, used before, so I think A is probably the more greener one, so I'm going to go with the one that looks a little bit more dead. It's not not completely green, or not completely dead, because we have soybeans that are alive still in there, so I'm going to go B as my final answer. Final answer. It all comes down to this. Boy. You sure? I think I'm sure. Okay. So when we look at the difference... Between these two plots, there's only one difference, and that is the adjuvant in the tank. And B is the correct Let's answer. Let's go! Woo! Woo! Let's go! So, Andy, how does it feel to win 100 bushels of soybeans? It feels great, Tyler! All right. So, he will get that payment of 100, soy, 100 uh, bushels of soybeans, which, ironically, is actually only like $1,400, but... He will still get that uh, get that payment out to him. Uh, when you look at these two pictures, the difference here is the difference in those adjuvants. Understand that, especially in these kind of conditions where we're very dry, uh, we have the thick waxy cuticle on our weeds. A lot of these water conditioners are going to show some differences, right? And so with these water conditioners showing differences, uh, these higher rate water conditioners, such as Class Act Ridian, the ones that are separated out, and we're putting a decent uh, rate of that out at, in this case, uh, three quarters of a percent volume for volume, we're getting a lot better control than if we were just to use these other um, adjuvants at a half percent volume for volume. So great, uh, great showing here, Andy, and we appreciate you joining us for this episode of Who Wants to Be a Hundred Air.